So, uh, she graduated on the, during the worst time of uh, any I'm a student, I think. I haven't got graduations, like, graduation ceremony yet, or, or any party, or anything. Like, my graduation was like, just, just a formal. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, there was more stress rather than happiness because getting a job in pandemic was tough. So, I was not happy about graduating. I thought that maybe it, was, it would have been better if I would have extended somehow. But, yeah. So, uh, it was not a good time. I think generally the opportunities are it really, really good uh, when you are a fresher student in the normal times. But what would you say the opportunity looked like in the pandemic time? Like what was your experience searching for a job? It was tough, definitely. I mean, um, any, so anyways, I think getting a call for interview is really tough. If you apply for like 100, 200, you might get two or three calls. And where they it might go ahead and you can get a chance to prove yourself in the other, in like upcoming rounds. But then getting a call itself is difficult and in pandemic people were actually getting fired so it was very stressful and very difficult i mean i had almost lost hope there were like only few big companies like amazon and all which were hiring but then i didn't had any hope or no startups were hiring mm -hmm. so like no one had positions open and especially it was more tough for me because i didn't had any prior work experience so even if few companies were hiring they needed a person with experience like senior positions were uh, open, yeah. open. So that was again a challenge, like hiring an entry level or a new grad positions were like really, really less. So that was really tough. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just happy that I got it. I still can't understand how because there are a Congratulate lot of... her people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got a job during yeah, the Yeah, because pandemic. there are a lot of people from my batch and my batch, I mean not only in my university, like all the people who came in for even in different universities who I know, was still looking for a job and yeah I feel bad for them but then don't lose hope keep applying and keep working hard because now you now what you need to make sure is that you won't get a lot of chances so you need to be prepared that even if you get one you need to make most out of it mm. because you have very less chances so make sure you're prepared and yeah if you get even one chance just grab it just give it your best shot so I mean a lot of people talk about uh, you know like make your resume like this or make, make your resume like that or have your LinkedIn profile like this or that and optimize it so much like they, they go into a lot of nitty gritties of it but uh, in my opinion I think it doesn't matter much it's just like all about luck and uh, the amount of you know, like jobs you apply for yeah. do you feel the same or do you <coughs> think it does matter what you're I mean of course if you have like really uh, bad formatted <laughs> resume and you're just like uh, drawing everywhere your or you have your yeah. photo there or something yeah. that sucks but if you have like a very uh, proper basic formatted simple good, yeah. basic resume I think that's enough and even on your LinkedIn, you just have your truthful information and just elaborated your skills. That should be more than enough. Uh, just have a few things on your resume in, to go with your stream. So like if you don't have a work experience, make sure you have good internships. If not, have some good projects. And if you have work experience, then of course you can show it. So it depends. Like don't just give like me. I mean don't keep like your hobbies like I like playing music and this and that other than that show things which you have I done like, I like cooking files. yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't do that no one is gonna see I, it I make tiktok <laughs> and I, I I did like so much of extracurricular during my undergraduate like this event that event but then I realized that it, it won't make any sense and they are not gonna care so just skip all those you don't need to make two page resume or three page and include all of those no one is gonna care i think one page is the best right? one page one is the best just stick to it and just remove your extracurriculars if required put things which are relevant put things off for your like projects internships work experience which will improve your uh, profile i would say mm. that is important but then other than that yeah one page basic resume with your qualifications is good enough I wonder how you just made one page. You have so much talent. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> no. <laughs> Such a liar. <laughs> okay. So. Um, and that is the reason I was planning to do an MP in event management. I, I always loved to do events. So I had a lot of those, but I realized that it, it's not making any sense <laughs> in my resume at least. Of course, I learned a lot. It groomed me. Uh, enhanced my personality in some way I would say it made me confident which was really important especially if you want an on-campus job here you need to be confident because if you can't talk to people here you can't get an on-campus job you need to be able to have a good English and confidence so that that you can talk to people that is the key like here also for on-campus 
they didn't see my resume they didn't care like what is my major which year whatever no if you're confident you can speak english you're good so just be confident that's the key confidence confidence is the key no need for github profile no need for coding nothing yeah. just confidence no just <laughs> coding is required but <laughs> maybe you can skip github profile like if you get an interview just go and like I, i can do anything just yeah. tell me yeah okay so uh, i think the last question would be uh, what what do you see things like during during covid like people who come who are coming here for their ms their campus would be always virtual for now at least for yeah. the couple next upcoming for the next upcoming semester. semester so do you think they will miss a lot on some experiences or do you think this education will be the same education will be the same i think they're going to miss a lot of things you won't get a chance to of course work on campus which would have been like really good i i like any day i would prefer on campus rather than working off campus so that was that is like really important you would miss that chance you won't get to socialize a lot so if you're going on campus you can um, interact with so many different people like international office like there because international office like very willing to help you and communicate so you can make friends there from different countries that is really important so i think they're going to miss on that and then of course events it's always fun you get free t-shirts free pens <laughs> i had like whole collection of pens and t-shirts i have like 20 t-shirts <laughs> so that is always fun like even if you would won't use it it's like memory you enjoy those events so there's going to be a big hole but i hope like on campus classes start soon and everything goes back to normal hopefully yeah so i mean even we have vaccines coming so fingers crossed even though you fear miss one semester i think probably it's going to be open it's from be open uh, next from fall, fall yeah. yeah and it should most probably be fine and hopefully then again everything especially when it will come to job if you're starting your ms now you have two years so market will again be like in good position and you will have a good chance of getting a job now unless another virus comes in <laughs> covid 20 <laughs> that's on you it's it's your luck <laughs> i always like say about my life is when actually it doesn't matter but yeah it depends on your luck all right people so that that's all about how ms in us is like in uh during covid this pandemic COVID. and uh i hope it's useful information to you guys and i hope you guys take the best decisions for yourself uh i would just say one thing it's always a good experience to come here and study and uh i don't think you will regret it but just make sure that you're not putting everything that you own or uh, you are calculating the risks that can happen and you are prepared for those risks even if you get that loss you should be able to take that uh, gracefully uh, if not then maybe it's good idea to wait and we'll come up with more information later um thank you thank you for giving this information <laughs> <laughs> and if you have any problems uh, you can just dm dm you dm both of us <laughs> But yeah, you can always comment, and we would make a second part if required. So yeah, I know. I don't, I don't want to make second part with you. No. Bye. Bye. Sport dada, get me some nari pani. <laughs> Sport dada coffee. <laughs> Good.